I'm Navindra Siram. I'm the director of the Bioactive Botanical Research Lab at the College of Pharmacy at the University of Rhode Island. I am here at the American Chemical Society National Meeting in Anaheim, California, where thousands of scientists have gathered to present their scientific research. I have had the privilege of chairing and organizing a one-day symposium looking at the health benefits of natural sweeteners. Among the great exciting research that we heard today, I think there was great and promising research that we heard about maple syrup from Canada. My own research, work that has been done in my lab, has shown that maple syrup may pack the same health benefits that are found in other healthy plant foods, such as berries, red wine, green tea, flax, whole wheat, and so on. In fact, we have reported for the first time that maple syrup contains more than 54 compounds, which is double the amount that we previously found in maple syrup. We believe that this antioxidant cocktail of compounds may impart potential health benefits to maple syrup that we are very interested and curious in finding out. Two independent researchers today presented their findings on the body's ability to regulate blood glucose with maple syrup. We heard from Dr. Desjardins from Laval University in Quebec, Canada, who found compounds in maple syrup which may aid the body in stimulating insulin release. The other study related to blood glucose was done in collaboration with my lab and Professor Chong Lee at the University of Rhode Island that showed that maple syrup compounds may aid in the degradation of carbohydrates, thus reducing glucose levels in blood. We reported on a brand new compound in maple syrup that we have assigned the common name of Quibicol in honor of the province of Quebec in Canada, which leads the world production of maple syrup. My colleagues and I have now started to call maple syrup an antioxidant cocktail of healthy natural compounds not found in any other single food. So is maple syrup the next champion food? While more research needs to be done, we're very encouraged about the results we heard today. If you're choosing to eat a sweetener, you should know that maple syrup is a natural sweetener. It contains multiple natural compounds which may be beneficial to you. So if you're choosing a sweetener, you should choose maple syrup. Well, my name is Yves Desjardins. I'm professor at uh, the Department of Plant Science, and I belong to the Institute of Nutraceutical and Functional Food of Laval University. I'm carrying studies right now on uh, bioactive uh, components that we find in maple syrup in particular and maple products in general. We can find in uh, maple syrup uh, a lot of uh, polyphenols that uh, have antioxidant properties. They have also, uh, we can also find some oligosaccharides, which are uh, interesting probiotic uh, products or compounds. But uh, we also found some plant hormones. Uh, one of them is called abscisic acid. And uh, this has uh, a lot of interest uh, in, and shows a lot of uh, biofunctionality in the humans. Abscisic acid is a plant hormone and it controls the shape of and the development of plants. It's, uh, it's an important molecule in plants. It's also, uh, abscisic acid is also called ABA for short. We have analyzed the content of abscisic acid in maple syrup and maple products. We know uh, from some of our lab work that abscisic acid has some activity on energy metabolism and could be helpful uh, for some treating some aspect of uh, type 2 diabetes. These uh, are test tube studies. We need to confirm all these studies uh, by carrying human clinical trials, large-scale human clinical trials, and demonstrating the effectiveness of this molecule uh, in, in the human body, uh, in the population.